Hey guys, so really recently I've been kind of strolling through the Clash of Clans forums trying to find little hints and clues towards what's coming in this future update and when it is coming. Um, I found some pretty interesting stuff, I couldn't figure out any time when it's coming, but I found a few little clues pointing towards some stuff that could be added to the new update. Um, I'll share those in another update because this one might be a little long as it is already. But anyways, um, just taking a look at it, I think someone, um, based, based on all of their research, kind of watched like every YouTuber's uh, videos, grabbed hints from that. Also, maybe I had an interview with a Supercell employee or something. By the looks of it, it, sound, it seems like that. And everything in it looks, at least to me, it looks pretty legit. Uh, the English on some of the typing is a little iffy, but it just could be the guy when he was copying it down uh, into a post for us. But anyways, at the top it says, the update is not going to be this week, uh, but it will definitely be before the end of the month. They are 100% sure of that, but uh, the date could be fixed and could change with um, some like Apple and Google approvals on the App Store if it gets rejected or approved, stuff like that. Um, it's better to think of it more of as a Clash of Clans 2. Not not really like a second app or a game, but it's going to have a completely new and unexpected game mode that won't affect, affect the actual modes we have now. So it won't have any changes to Clan Wars, it won't have any changes to trophy pushing or farming or any of that kind of stuff. It will be a completely new redesigned game mode. It's also, they also mentioned that it's for everybody, no matter what your Town Hall level is. Um, that is, if you're above Town Hall 4, because that is when the boat is available to be built. But it doesn't matter if you're a farmer, if you're rushed, or if you're war-oriented, like Town Hall 8.5 or stuff like that. Apparently that will not affect it. And then the new game mode doesn't give an advantage for higher level Town Halls. So that, if that is true, that kind of, kind of, a. uh, uh blocks out some other game mode ideas like the kind of like the Colosseum mode and battle and all that um, because or actually no it doesn't really because if you Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11 is fairly, just as even as a Town Hall 8 versus Town Hall 8 so that could still be a possibility but so it, anyways it says Town Hall levels will not give you an advantage so you won't be seeing any like Town Hall 11's matchup against Town Hall 8's I guess and then they also mentioned you better have your storages full and probably have your builders available when the update releases. So I myself, I'm just started farming up loot. Um, I'm a little behind. I don't know if I'm going to get it to full on time, but I'm going to get to it. I'm going to start farming my ass off, and then hopefully I can get it done. Anyways, there will also be a new troop, or a kind of troop. We also got a little hint towards that from the Hog, one of Hogrider's commercials, where he's mentioning his new friends on the island. So... So new troops or some new kind of troop, maybe a spin off of the troops we know already. And then they also, I have a video coming out on this actually really soon. There is going to be a seventh commercial. It's going to be filmed by a bunch of uh, YouTubers like Chief Pat, Galadon, Powerbang, and Clash with Ash um, on an actual boat in Helsinki. I have another video on that coming out soon. Um, so you can check that out for more information. And then they asked, can we be disappointed from this update? And then they replied with, some could be, but that would be very surprising. So Supercell is really confident that everyone will really like this new update. Um, obviously, there are always people that hate, like some people don't like Clan Wars and stuff like that. So it is very possible people will be disappointed, but the majority should be very happy with it. Uh, they confirmed that there will not be a resource trading thing. Um, fairly obvious. I never really thought there was going to be to begin with. But so they confirmed that. Okay, and then there also has been no little sneak peeks towards what the new game mode is and apparently no YouTubers or form leaks as of about like a week ago or something have confirmed or gotten what the actual update is going to be. So none of the updates on the internet yet are what the update is going to be apparently. So I guess we're gonna have to keep guessing. That's And then there is no real change to war matchmaking. A lot of people wanted matchmaking changes with the engineered bases like Town Hall point fives but they always change that in every update just a little bit in the algorithm for matchmaking but there aren't really any major changes this update uh, there's not going to be an aquatic mode and then he, he um, the person that was being interviewed could also not answer on the cloud time that's for like Titans like two or th two or one and above where people get stuck in the clouds for like tons of time on end I, I myself am only like stuck in the clouds for like 10 minutes in like Titans between Titans 2 and Titan 1 can't imagine what it's like in Legendary Arena. So they could not answer on the cloud time. 
and then there's no change for the cap of members so like the maximum capacity is 50 members right now there will not be any more than that you cannot have a clan of 75 or 100 like i mentioned earlier the boat will be available at town hall 4 but it will need to be built uh, apparently it'll be cheap and no upgrade time kind of like when we build the clan castle and there is a few things that were discussed in the features and updates with but not really any real answers of what will be added so there will be no different levels for the boat so like the clan castle you can level it up but apparently there will not be any levels for the boat he could not answer on night mode so that's a good sign that there will be night mode considering he didn't it might not be exactly like night mode but there will be something like it considering he didn't deny it he just doesn't want to answer more on it and apparently we should not speculate that it's often on a tuesday or a thursday things like that it'll be ready when it is ready and then the path on the northwest of the map, um, if you look in your villages, it's on the top left side, where you can kind of see an opening in the trees. Apparently that won't be used for anything, just for an aesthetics thing still. And apparently it's even more of a new game mode than it was Clan Wars. So that's crazy, because Clan Wars are the biggest thing right now. Um, someone even said, if I can pull it up here, let me see if I can find it. Oh, okay. So Loch Ness uh, Meowster said so we played the new update today biggest thing since clan wars question mark not even close this makes clan wars look like a prius next to a ferrari it's that big so this new update is going to make clan wars look like nothing so we should be don't mean to give any false hope or like hype this up to be more than it might be but apparently it is going to be sick so anyways uh where were we all the leaks so far are false but in some videos, there are points on some of them that are true, and then they laughed at some of the fake leaks. So some of the leaks that YouTubers, and mostly on forums that have been leaked, where they're saying like gem trading, um, a clan village, and stuff like that, they kind of laughed at those. But then apparently in some videos and stuff, there were points in them that are true and will be in the update, but the whole concept ideas in the videos are not right. So like some of my concept videos, apparently some of the stuff that I mentioned could be in the videos, but it's likely it won't be exactly like I described it. And then there was also a strange sentence that he answered with, so kind of read it with caution. Um, you could have a new league or a new league system. Um, we don't know if that's for the new game mode or if it's for like the multiplayer we have now, but we should be aware of that. And then tons of new things that could be cool for YouTubers to stream and use in videos. So this new game mode apparently will be really fun for YouTubers and um, streamers to do in their videos. So I wonder what that could be. It'll be apparently really fun and entertaining to watch. So I'm really interested to see what that's going to be. And then, will it always be a troop versus base? And then they answered with a kind of a weird answer. Um, they said, I can't answer that. And then there were a lot of laughs. So <laughs> what that could mean is beyond me. Anyways, uh, new time reductions for some things. Um, they left it really vague. So that could mean like new level troops or buildings where maybe the uh, barracks are higher level and they train troops quicker maybe. Who knows? Will it have sim have things similar to Clash Royale or Boom Beach? And then they answer with, ha ha ha, you're annoying with your good questions. So that's kind of a cool answer because they're, they're completely avoiding the question, which makes me think that it's right. It, it'll have some features that are similar to Clash Royale or Boom Beach, which is really interesting. Um, can't wait to see what they are and then the time between each captain's log could be longer day after day So we're just waiting for the fifth captain's log right now So we already know that by fact that it's not like two days in between anymore. It's been like three or four since the last one came out um, There is a multiplayer in the new game mode So you're gonna be able to play with other people in the new game mode. Um, I, I always assumed you would be able to So that's kind of saying it won't just be like a single-player campaign, I guess um but then they also said they can't say if it's a total multiplayer or not. So there might be a single player aspect to it, like Goblin Villages or something like that. And then they and then they also went on to mention YouTubers could have hidden some things in their videos, so you better watch out for them. That could be clickbait too. I also want to mention um, one thing that I noticed in one of Galadon's recent videos. At the end, like when he does that little credit thing, um, usually where people click off before that, at the very end, um, with Spencer $23, I think it was, he, in the background, he kind of mentions his favorite number is 17, just out of nowhere. Like, 
Galadon, didn't you know my favorite number is 17? Or he said something like along that lines. So kind of a weird thing to say and might be a little hint or tease to something regarding the number 17. And then there's also a new graphical interface, but that could be everything from something for something new. So like new troop um, looks, or maybe they could be talking about the night mode, anything that looks different. So there's going to be something that looks different. And then there's also no new hero levels and there could be new music added. This could be for like the new game mode though. So that really comes with the new game mode. Anyways, that's it for this little leak. Let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I have a lot more like really cool information, possibly on a new troop from the forums coming out soon. Um, a, a release from a, an official Supercell moderator. So that could be really interesting. So check back for that. And then up, right after this, I will show you guys a little intro to our little giveaway we're doing. Uh, we're giving away a total of $100. So be sure to check out that and make sure you enter. And good luck to everyone. And anyways, I'll talk to you guys next time. Hey guys. We will be doing a $100 giveaway until the end of the month of May. To enter the giveaway, just click the link in the description below or in the comments and follow the instructions. We will be giving away about 7 or 8 iTunes and or Google Play gift cards, each worth about $10 to $15. And we will be announcing winners throughout the next two weeks, and winners will be announced at the end of videos, so make sure you check back for those. If someone doesn't claim the prize within a few days, we will do a redraw, so make sure you check back for those just so you don't miss it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and good luck.